Hey there, it's Eric Evanstead at bootstrapbizgrowth.com and in this video, I want to show you some really cool features in Gmail that a lot of people don't know about, but that are going to make your life a lot easier as an entrepreneur. So let's just dive right in. I'm going to pull up my screen and show you around a bit. Um, the first one is the vacation autoresponder. So as entrepreneurs, we're really busy. We work long hours. We work really hard. And sometimes we just need to step away from the business for a little bit, go on vacation, and not worry about emails coming in and having to respond each day. So what you do is you set up an email autoresponder. This sends out a template message to anybody that emails you, and they'll just know that you're going to get back next week or in a few days, and they can expect a response at that time. So it just buys you some time to not have to worry about your emails while you're on vacation. So to set this up, you come over here, click the gear icon, hit settings from the drop down menu, scroll down. We're under the general tab. We're going to scroll down and here's this vacation responder section. So what we're going to do is we're going to check vacation responder on. You set the first day of the vacation responder. So if I'm going on vacation a day, I'll set that. I can do a last day. So if I get back on the fourth, I can set that. And then any email that comes in during that time frame will get this auto response message that I type out right here. So I just want to say something like, hey, I'm on vacation. Thanks for the message. I'll respond when I get back on this date. And, uh, and that's about it. People will totally understand. You can tell them if there's an urgent matter that they can call a certain number, whether that's somebody else at your office, or maybe that's your own personal cell phone and just tell them to leave a voicemail if it really is urgent. Um, that's what I typically will do. And uh, this is just a really great feature. And I use it every time I go on vacation because it just alleviates that stress. And now I'll go back into the inbox and show you the next cool feature. This one is actually brand new. This is the snooze feature that they just add to Gmail. And I love this one. If you get an email from somebody that you do want to respond to, but maybe you don't have time to respond to right away, you can snooze it. And here's what that means. You would check the email. So click right there and you would come over here and click this little clock icon. And now we could snooze it until later in the day, um, tomorrow, or you could pick a specific date and time. And what snooze means is it's going to hide it from your inbox and it'll make it reappear as if you're just getting that email for the first time at a later time. So let's say I snooze it for later today. So that would mean that at 6 p.m. tonight, I'm going to get this email re-delivered to me. So if I do that, it'll disappear from my inbox. And at 6 p.m. tonight, I'll get a new message up here. And it's just that same message coming in. And it'll just uh, look like a new one. And it'll remind me to go back in and respond to that when I do have a little bit more time. So really love that feature. It just helps keep your inbox organized and uh, prevents you from getting too overwhelmed with all the emails in your inbox. The next feature that I really like, and I actually don't even have it set up in here, so this is really great. Um, I use it in my other Gmail account, so I'll show you that. So it is the tabs up here. So I really, really like these. It helps keep your inbox organized. So um, here we have primary emails. So these are going to be emails typically that are coming from an actual person. Um, and then you have promotion. So this would be like email newsletters. So maybe you signed up for a newsletter from a service that you really like or a, um, an author or an expert in your field. Those messages would come into this section so that you can read them when you have time. And then anything related to social, um, so Facebook updates or Twitter updates is going to come into this section. And so this really just helps keep things organized. Typically the social ones, I'm going to come over here and just delete them all because I don't need to know that. Um, promotions, these obviously I don't re read very often, but I can kind of glance through here and pick the ones I do want to read. And then primary are the ones that are really going to be the most important. And I really go through and uh, look at each of these. So that's how I use it. And I want to show you how to get this set up. So again, you're going to click this little gear icon here. We're going to hit settings. We're going to go to inbox. And now what we want to do is we want to select these categories. So social promotions, updates, and forums. Those are the different options. Um, so forums would be messages from online groups, discussion boards, and mailing lists. Uh, updates would be personal auto-generated updates, including confirmations, receipts, bills, and statements. I actually really do like this one. Um, promotions, we talked about that. Deals, offers, marketing emails from different companies. 
and then we have the social so messages from any social service or social website so um, we'll just check all these just to show you what that looks like we'll hit save changes okay and now we have all these different tabs up here and look at that my primary email inbox went from i think 67 emails down to four so these would be considered the important ones um, anything that's starred will go into primary so keep that in mind here's the social so let's just go ahead and delete all of those or you can archive them as well um, we have the promotions the updates and the forums so this is a really great way to keep your email inbox organized and to bring attention to the most important primary emails the next one that I'll show you is uh, for all those people that travel or are working at coffee shops or working on airplanes and this one allows you to write and read emails while you're offline so we're going to click on settings again the gear icon and go to settings from the drop down over here this little tab called offline we're going to click on that and now what we can do is we can enable offline mode and so again this is going to allow you to read emails in your inbox even when you don't have a website or even when you don't have an internet connection so it will take up some storage space but you can pull up emails from 7, 30, or 90 days. So we'll do 30 here. We can click download attachments. So if you wanna be able to download the attachments in these emails so you can read them while you're offline, you can do that, or you can leave that unchecked. It's really up to you. And then down here, you wanna just click keep offline data on my computer. That's what I do at least, um, but you can read through those and make a decision that's best for you and then hit save changes and this again is going to let me read emails within 30 days um, even if i don't have an internet connection and then i can reply to them as well within here um, and then as soon as i do get an internet connection it'll send all those replies that i went in and typed out so this is really great if you do travel a lot if you're on airplanes or you're always on the go it just allows you to keep your email inbox organized and get rid of all those email to do's the last feature that i want to show you is called canned responses and what this does is it allows you to create templates for your emails if you send the same email over and over again to different people. So maybe you have a onboarding email that you send new clients, it's the exact same message each time. You could create a template within Gmail and then you have to rewrite this email every time you send it out. You could just pull up the template. So here's how you do that. You click compose, like you're creating a new message and over here there's these three little buttons and that is for more options we're going to click on that we're going to do canned responses and then here i have all these different template messages that i've created already and so if i click uh, maybe this one it's going to pull up this message that is pre-written by me and now i don't have to go in and write this new message each and every time i send it out okay so let's do that again with another message i'm going to come over here canned responses and let's do new website okay so here's a longer message and it's that fast to be able to pull up these messages again if you're sending them over and over again to different people on a daily or weekly basis this is just going to save you a lot of time and make things a lot easier so here's how you set up one of these you would write out your message so let's just say we just type this message out this is the initial message that you're going to be sending and you want to turn this into a template we'll write it out first and then we're going to come over here click more options we're going to go to canned responses we're going to come over here under the save section and click new canned response we'll name this so i'm just going to say uh, test template i'm going to hit ok and now that is saved so if i were to delete all of this and come back in here let's see if it worked so i'm going to come over here click test template under the insert area and there we go there's that message that we just created and turned into that template so that's how easy it is to set these up um, within Gmail and again it's just going to save you a lot of time if you're sending the exact same message over and over again to different people I hope you find value in these different features again a lot of people I talked with just don't know about these and I use them all the time they save me a ton of time and just make my life way easier so I wanted to make sure that you knew about these because they are going to help you a ton as well 
If you know anybody else that might be missing out on these features, please share this with them as well. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel below to learn how to grow your business on a budget and to become a more effective, productive entrepreneur. And then lastly, I just want to thank you for coming by and watching this video, and we'll see you next time.